Amanda. Hey, Damon. Oh, I'm glad you just came on. I was about to sing that note right there, and I didn't want to. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to break your eardrums. What's up, Laura? How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. All right. So, are you business partner? I know Amanda. I know you took Damon on demand. Are you business partners, or what? Are, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. She's my she's my swim buddy and business <laughs> partner. Swim buddy and business partner. Well, good, good, good. So, uh, CBD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. CBD. Okay, good. Um, and tell me about the CBD. Is it uh, you, your online brand only? Are you a shop or both or just developing it? What's going on? Uh, we're currently e-commerce retail only right now. Thankfully, we had looked at opening right. a retail location. We're in North Jersey, so it's pretty big up here. So we were targeting other areas. But um, yeah, right now we reset sell other brands, but we're working on opportunities on our own label in addition to farming. Yeah. How's that Dan Bazarian one going? Is that, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Ignite? Yeah, I don't know that one, actually. You don't know the Dan Bazarian one? No. Yeah. So what is your uh, target market that you're selling to right now? Uh, well, we're women owned, so our target market is women pets we're all pet owners and athletes we're actually all former we have another partner jen uh we're our former collegiate soccer athletes oh well you don't need to look into the dan balzarian one any more than that one his his audience is he's more like the young version of a uh, hugh hefner a little raunchy and stuff like okay. that um <laughs> i was i was i i just happen to know people when and i was curious how well it's doing i just don't know um but uh, pet owners and female athletes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Well, I think those that's huge. That's a huge market. Yeah, I mean, pet owners alone, it's really interesting. So I don't know how much you know about CBD, but it's all linked to our endocannabinoid system, and all mammals have an ECS. So it's actually not just small pets, but we're hoping to target uh, larger animals like horses as well. Uh, I so got two donkeys. <laughs> oh, well, there you there go. You go. <laughs> That's a new one, but we could, uh, you know, could have a product for that. But donkeys, that's interesting. Yeah, I, you know, I'm on the, I'm on the Petco board, um, the foundation, and uh, we're seeing, um, obviously, as you know, remarkable stories. Um, uh, for the little furry friends who are, who are uh, you know, fortunate enough to have somebody who can afford CBD, a lot, a lot, a lot of the times it's just really expensive for them. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so yeah, so it's really, it's really, it's really good. And it's working. So, so tell me a little bit more about the business. Where are you in the stages? You have any questions? Because I know you have DOD, and I know there's a lot. There's eight hours of information there, but maybe you got a question that I can give you some clarity on, or you know. Yeah, I mean, we're, we've actually taken some of your advice. We're doing a lot of social media marketing. Um, I've been reaching out to individual users, which has been interesting. Um, I honestly wasn't expecting you on today, so I'm a bit intimidated <laughs> <laughs> right now. What would you now. expect on? <laughs> I thought we were talking to your, your coworkers. Yeah, yeah. Your Dave, you, it's confusing. You have a guy, no, Damon, no. that works for you. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Yes, yes. Damon is listening right now. Um, <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, I can see that being confusing, you know, 100%. Yeah. But, but, uh, but I'm here now, you know? So, yeah. so We're totally following the whole reaching out and branding with our social media followers. And yes. what we've learned a lot is because we're really based on educating. A lot of the CBD is the average consumer is not very educated yet. Correct. They've heard of it. They want to try it. And that's what Best Buds is, is that front face, that communication, that person there where you just need one person to ask. And hey, if you have questions or if you see another brand or they vetted, we do the work for our consumers. We that's find the certification, we do the research, we also create different price points. So what's great about it is the number one thing people say, it is expensive. So what do we do? We offer two pack gummies at $5, which is a little sample. Cause right now people are trying and figuring out what it is 
that works for their system because every body is different. And so it's almost like a unique approach to everyone. And that's what we try yeah. to come across. And how, where is the, where is the dat, where is the information you're posting on your site, of course? I mean, but is there, are there like, like every week, is there a takeaway about it? Because, you know, I'm, uh, I may be partnering with CBD company. I'm listening. I got, I got 30 offers to partner with them three years ago, but I wanted to educate myself more. But, you know, even though I, and, and I, and I know enough about it, but I just happen to have people that I can call, you know, such as maybe you and say, I just got a quick question. So that means that I don't need to learn about it because I have access to you. But there are a lot of people who it's late at night, their wife can't sleep because of anxiety. Mm -hmm. They want to call you. They don't know the sites they could trust and look up, but they want to get some answers right then because in the morning I got to go back to work and I don't have time to look up the stuff. Is there stuff that you have like, here's good for anxiety. Here's why here's good for energy. Because when we see all the CBDs out there, you go, it's CBD, everything, energy, anxiety, sleep, wake, dead. I mean, like, so there's so many versions as we all know, do you have a database that you just keep giving out information? Cause like we say in DOD and other places, you want to be that database, like you're saying, to make somebody the smartest person at the water cooler on Monday morning. You want them to say, be at dinner with somebody going, oh, by the way, I happen to know everything you need to know about CBD. Why? Because of Amanda and Laura. You should go check them out. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're building it. And we, yeah. uh, we're doing that with our social media. And our followers are responding from when Amanda reaches out. They're, they order at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. They look at our posts of constant education on terpenes. We're not just pushing product, so there's a good yeah. variety there, and we've been actually been able to sell that way too. So yeah, we also we try to break out our products by moods yeah. to try to yeah. make it yeah. easier for people, and that that is part of what we're building out on the website is writing that content and adding that educational side on there, and the terpenes is a big part of it, like Laura said. Yeah, as also I've, I've noticed a lot of people now they're collaborating or they're bartering, so they're basically saying. Hey, you know what? I'm a man of law. You know, I know everything there is to know about CBD. I care about health. I care about this and that. But I don't know how to graphically put together my website. Can you, any of you in the community, if you're really good at graphics, can we barter? I'll give you $200 worth of CBD. You give me $200 worth of your time in graphics or vice versa. That does a couple of things. It shows a community that you really love and respect them. It gives them an option and an opportunity and a chance to highlight their work. Because, of course, when you put their work on your site, you're going to say who it's from. They also now got the CBD themselves, and now they may even become a customer, or they may want to do more stuff. There's just a lot of different things you can do. Now, I can easily say that. You may say, Damon, I don't have $200 worth of CBD to give away. But if you're going to spend that on something, whether it's a coder, whether it's a graphic person, packaging, or something else, maybe you spend it in a different way. The CBD didn't really cost you 200 it really cost you 50 or 100 You get $200 worth of work. You also get another customer. There's a lot of ways to do stuff like that during this time when everybody's looking to collaborate. Right. That's, That's a good, good idea. idea. Cause even Because I'm the creative director, so... I design everything. I used to work at Samsung. I used to uh, manage global teams, Latin America. Do you um, know Tim? Do you know Tim from Samsung? Yeah, I know. He just retired? I know. Huh? Oh, yeah. I know a couple Tims, but yes. What is, what is Tim's name? What is, I go fishing with him. Tim Baxter. Yeah, I definitely yeah. have ran into him. I go um, fishing with him all the time. A couple like years ago. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's a small world. He's great. Yeah. Well, you know, I was underwritten by Samsung. My FUBU was uh, underwritten by Samsung's textile uh -huh. division. So we uh -huh. really dealt with, we really dealt with uh, uh, Suki Lee and everybody yeah. over in the, in, in, in the city. And then of course, uh, MK Lee and everybody over in Korea. In Korea, yeah. I dealt a lot with um, also mobile division, security division, uh, LED display division. So I was pretty much all doing a little bit of everything, designing and moving up the ranks. So I pretty much bring, well, like that's what you're doing just for yourself now. Yeah, um, I learned and now I'm applying it to us. Yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. 
All right. Well, uh, any more questions? We got the time for probably one more question. I know that the first half of it was awkward because you thought you were talking on a different <laughs> demon. Um, I mean, general no, I sales. I think we were um, we're going back to you know generating the sales. And is there any other um, helpful advice? Because we are going. We have about eight hundred followers on Instagram alone, and we're going one by one creating that brand and that relationship and getting extra, you know, input on what they like, what works, what doesn't work. They love it. They love the handwritten notes. They love our education, but how can we get more sales? That's a hurdle right now. All right. So remember there's only three ways to, you know, deal with any customer. And uh, so it's acquire a new one, upsell a current one, or make one buy more frequently, right? Acquiring a new one is the hardest. Upselling a current customer, you would have to think about how to make your customer either upsell them or buy more frequently, the 800. So to upsell them means to, you know, in the world of sales, you can either go to Louis Vuitton and they, or not Louis Vuitton, but one of these companies, and they say, we don't go on sale. We're too good to go on sale. However, if you buy a bag today, you can get another one. You can get two. It's technically a sale. They just don't want to say they're selling, you know, that, that they want to cut their goods in the pricing, right? So if you are selling somebody something for themselves, and today it's significant other day, they get another one and then potentially they've now gotten two and one of one for their their uh, and they and they can pick any kind one is anxiety and one is one is energy now you potentially have somebody else in the house who's like honey next time you order order me mine too right now you're ordering stuff i don't have anxiety so i just that's all i know about cvd but they she's like no honey there's other stuff for you and that's how you can upsell Another way to get people to buy more frequently is a lot of people are in trouble right now. They don't have money. They don't have a job. But maybe if I, you got to talk legally about this. I don't know the issue. But maybe if I buy a box from you at $100, I can sell them separately and make 150 and become basically your distributor. Especially if there's somebody who loves CBD, so they're like, right now, they're like, when I buy 10 pieces of whatever units or whatever the case is, I got to give away some. I don't want to. And I love bragging about how, oh my God, how I can sleep now. But now, wait a minute, I can buy a box. It's almost like a wholesale price, not a fully wholesale price. I know you're buying your wholesale. I can buy a box at, at, at 100 and sell a couple, and it pays for my box. So is that, is that different? you would consider that different from like an affiliate program? No, it's very similar. It's very similar. Um, it, it, it's, it's Amazon. It's, it's, um, it's not Amazon. Uh, it's Avon. Okay. The re so let me tell you the story about Avon. Avon is going to do about $20 billion. All right. And they have all these Avon reps, but the average Avon reps, sells only $4,000 worth of Avon a year. The reason being is the reps are the ones using it. They just want to be an Avon salesperson so they get it on discount. They're not selling it to anybody. I get it. Okay, one or two people get an Avon car. Okay, no, I, that's fine, yeah. right? So that's how you have to think about your customer. Your customer right now is going, they, they're either going to want to sell your product. Listen, it, it all depends on if your product is good, if we know CBD is good, and if you're educated on it and you have a, a way to think about it, it's great. They're going to want to sell it for two different reasons or three different reasons. One, because it's infectious, they love it, they know they're going to help people or help other people. So when they're at the dog park and they're seeing some other stuff yeah. on, it's like, listen, I'm going to help your dog because I have some stuff for you. Or number two is, they're trying to lower their acquisition costs, right? They're going to sell it because they're going to sell half their box and half their box is going to pay for the stuff that they used. And number okay. three is, of course, just to make a buck. 
those right. are the, those are the couple of ways that you can all think about expanding your business. Now, when I share this stuff with you, listen, I can give you ten things, and nine of them will be wrong. You just need one to be right. It just needs to work for you and how you're going to position it. Totally. Right. Yeah, we've talked about a few of these things, so I think you're reigniting yeah. a few sparks, so that's awesome. Well, very good. Well, I'm glad, Damon on Demand, I, I, it has helped you, I hope. It's yeah. Give you some class. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, good. Our Bible. Good. <laughs> well, that's great. When I hear when I hear that, because, man, I don't know your history, but I know, Laura, obviously, we shared a little bit of your history. What's your history, Amanda? I have a little over 15 years in financial services. So I've worked at, I actually worked at Bear Stearns, then went to JP Morgan, uh, Oppenheimer and UBS. So all financial advising, I'm actually a certified financial planner. But uh, when I had this opportunity with Laura, and it's actually funny in college, Laura's a little bit older than me, but she was uh, the captain for the common folk on on uh, the soccer team so it's uh -huh. awesome that you're like the people shark and we love that. but uh yeah and so we we just kind of started exploring this and i'm kind of the business all business anything i do the bookkeeping all yeah. the inventory i get it laura's creative your business you're like a yeah. you know, like a it's peanut butter and jelly sandwich i get yeah. it yeah. <laughs> right uh, but that's you know that's impressive to me when somebody you know when two people who've had long careers and one in finance which is extremely uh you know uh hard and ups and downs as we all know and another and sound like marketing branding and various other things when you get value out of something that i have put together it makes me feel good that that we're on the right path because we all we all have to just keep learning. We don't know everything about everything. And that's why hopefully I put Damon on demand to try to all bring it in in one, one area. So, you know. Right. It's cool. It's awesome. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, thank you guys so much. And uh, I hope your, your families are staying healthy. Everybody's good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you guys? God. You know, we're, we are, we are good. Um, uh, you know, of course, I'm, you're in Jersey, so just like just like all of us, I probably know about 30 people mourning, which is sad. And uh, you know, we got to get over this thing. We got to stay in the house for a year. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why people are like, you know, I'm I'm willing to go out and die. I have no, I have no comprehension of what. <laughs> you want to go to a roller skating ring right now? You want to risk your life just to go roller skating? Uh, okay, well, I don't even know people roller skate. I'm showing my age, right? But. Whatever you guys do. So. <laughs> well, we did roller skates. So. <laughs> I kind of wish I still had my roller blades, you know. Well, you're lucky I didn't say you lucky I didn't say you want to you want to risk your life to going out to a disco because then I really <laughs> been in trouble. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice, awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. All the best. Thank cool. You. Thanks, Damon. Awesome. Right, thank Have a good you. one. Bye. -bye.